Could Venus hold secrets that have left scientists both astonished and panicked? Decades-old images of Venus captured by the Soviet Union's space program have just been declassified, and the findings have left scientists around the globe both excited and concerned. Venus is the least hospitable planet in the solar system. In today's video, we're taking a thrilling ride through the cosmos to discuss a recent discovery that's shaken up the world of space science. Let's get started. In the vast cosmic expanse that is our solar system, two neighboring planets, Mars and Venus, have stood as both cosmic neighbors and enigmatic mysteries. Each of these celestial bodies, with its unique characteristics, has captured the imaginations of both scientists and space enthusiasts, drawing them into a web of exploration and discovery. Mars, the red planet, has long held a particular fascination. Its cold and barren appearance, reminiscent of a frozen desert, has beckoned humanity to ponder its potential as a future home for the human race. Over the years, missions like the Mars rovers have uncovered tantalizing hints of its past watery history and the possibility of its ability to support life. Contrastingly, Venus, the second planet from the Sun, sits closer to its blazing rays, and yet, in a stunning twist of fate, it is Venus that is shrouded in searing heat in an unforgiving environment. With surface temperatures that can soar to an astonishing 900 degrees Fahrenheit, Venus presents an extreme environment that seems incompatible with what we know of planetary dynamics. Curiously, Earth, our haven, is nestled in the middle, seemingly balanced between the frigid desolation of Mars and the infernal heat of Venus. However, the glaring contradiction lies in the fact that Venus, given its location, should not be as scorching as it is the puzzle deepens. In this backdrop of cosmic wonder, Venus stands as an enigma, a planetary paradox that has puzzled scientists for decades. The Soviet Union, during the tense and competitive Cold War era, embarked on an audacious journey into space exploration. Their relentless pursuits of scientific excellence was manifested in the Venera missions to Venus during the 1960s and 70s. These missions were groundbreaking endeavors intended to unveil the secrets of our neighboring planet Venus, whose true nature remained largely obscured beneath its thick veil of clouds. Against the backdrop of global political tension during the Cold War, a remarkable contest unfurled that transcended terrestrial bodies. It was a rivalry that extended beyond borders, ideologies, and power struggles, a race to conquer the cosmos itself. The United States, represented by NASA and the Soviet Union, embarked on an unprecedented competition, each vying for supremacy in the uncharted realm of space exploration. This race was more than a mere scientific endeavor. It was an ideological quest to assert dominance, harness technological prowess, and illuminate the cosmos's profound mysteries. In this epic of exploration, the grandeur of their ambitions reached unprecedented heights as nations competed to outdo one another in feats of engineering and innovation. The universe itself became the proving ground for their rivalry. While geopolitical tensions cast their shadow over Earth, a distinct yet equally captivating race unfolded in the cosmic theater, the pursuit of understanding and mastery over the boundless cosmos. At the heart of this cosmic competition were the Soviet Union's audacious Venera missions, a testament to human ingenuity, determination, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The target of their quest was Venus, Earth's cosmic neighbor, that had long remained shrouded in enigma beneath its thick veil of clouds. What distinguished these missions was their unprecedented ambition, not merely orbiting Venus, but descending to its very surface. The Venusian environment, however, presented a litany of formidable challenges that would deter even the most intrepid of explorers. With an atmosphere overwhelmingly comprised of carbon dioxide and laced with corrosive sulfuric acid, Venus was a world seemingly hostile to any form of life or exploration. Its surface temperatures soaring to levels that could liquefy metals posed an insurmountable barrier. Despite these seemingly insurmountable obstacles, the Soviet Union refused to be daunted. Instead, they undertook this monumental task of pioneering technologies that would enable their probes to survive the planet's infernal conditions. 
It was a testament to their unwavering commitment to scientific advancement and their indomitable spirit of exploration. The Venera missions were nothing short of marvels of engineering, showcasing humanity's capacity to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. The technology harnessed for these missions defied conventional wisdom and transcended the limits of human imagination. The development of spacecraft and instruments that could withstand not only the intense heat but also the corrosive atmosphere of Venus was a triumph of scientific ingenuity. The probes that ventured into the abyss of Venus's atmosphere and onto its surface carried with them the hopes of unveiling the planet's mysteries. Their instruments were meticulously designed to gather invaluable data about Venus's geology, composition, and atmosphere conditions. These remarkable feats of engineering expanded our understanding of the cosmos and paved way for future exploration. The unveiling of the declassified photographs from the Venera missions marks a watershed moment in our quest to comprehend Venus's enigmatic nature. These images, painstakingly captured and preserved over decades, offer us a unique window into the tumultuous geological history of the planet. They reveal a landscape marked by ancient lava flows and impact craters, evidence of a dynamic and ever-evolving world. Moreover, these images challenge our preconceived notions about the planet's past. The channels and features reminiscent of riverbeds and deltas hint at a time that Venus might have hosted liquid water on its surface. Such revelations spur a re-evaluation of Venus's climatic history and its potential to harbor conditions conducive to life, however unconventional they might be. For decades, the Venera missions remained shrouded in secrecy, their findings concealed behind the Iron Curtain. It wasn't until recently that the world was granted a rare glimpse into the remarkable achievements of these missions. Notably, physicist Michio Kaku played a pivotal role in unveiling a trove of declassified photographs from these missions, providing a visual narrative of Venus's rugged landscapes, tumultuous geological history, and extreme atmosphere conditions. These photographs are evidence of human ingenuity and determination and showcase Venus in a new light. They unveiled a rocky, inhospitable terrain, scarred by the evidence of past volcanic activity and dotted with impact craters that speak to the planet's cosmic history. The vivid images lay bare a planet seemingly frozen in time, its surface giving voice to the countless millennia of geological processes that have shaped its present state. In a recent presentation, Michio Kaku delved into the intricacies of these declassified photographs, unraveling the hidden secrets that they contain. As a renowned physicist and cosmologist, Kaku's analysis serves as a guiding light in navigating the complexities of Venus's geological and atmospheric phenomena. We now realize that the surface temperature of Venus is 900 degrees height. That's hotter than a baker's Ooh. oven. Lead would be molten at that temperature. And when it rains, it rains sulfuric acid. And ah. the pressure of the air is 100 times that of the Earth. It would crush you. One of the so most intriguing revelations from these images is the evidence of Venus's volcanic past. The photographs vividly capture the remnants of ancient lava flows, hinting at a tumultuous history of volcanic activity that has played a pivotal role in shaping the planet's surface. These images ignite speculation about the mechanisms that drove such volcanic eruptions on Venus, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the planet's geological evolution. Moreover, the images shed light on the potential presence of water erosion on Venus. Channels and features resembling riverbeds and deltas hint at a bygone era when liquid water might have flowed on the planet's surface. These findings pose profound questions about Venus's past climate, the role of water in shaping its landscape, and the potential for habitable conditions that might have existed in the distant past. Yet, during the revelations, a perplexing mystery remains. Why does Venus, so similar to Earth in size and composition, exhibit such extreme and inhospitable conditions? The images offer a window into a planet that defies easy classification, challenging our understanding of planetary dynamics and factors that shape a world's evolution. As we stand at the threshold of discoveries, the question of Venus's potential impact on our understanding of planetary formation and evolution looms large. 
the declassified photographs open the door to further inquiry and exploration, beckoning scientists to unravel the planet's hidden truths. Plans for future missions to Venus propelled by the insights gained from these images hold the promise of unveiling even more of the planet's mysteries. In the grand narrative of our solar system, Venus emerges as a fascinating enigma, a world that defies easy classification and challenges our preconceptions. The declassified photographs, a treasure trove of visual data, offers a tantalizing glimpse into a planet's history, evolution, and potential. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all things space. Oh, not a star, but the planet Venus, which is the brightest object in the night sky other than the moon. And we once thought that astronauts would use the lush tropical environment of Venus to recharge their batteries and take a vacation. Well, boy, were we wrong. We now realize that the surface temperature of Venus is 900 degrees height. That's hotter than a baker's Ooh. oven. Lead would be molten at that temperature. And when it rains, it rains sulfuric acid. And Ugh. the pressure of the air is 100 times that of the Earth. It would crush you. So an astronaut walking on Venus would first sink into the molten surface, be crushed by the atmosphere, and then burned alive by sulfuric acid rains. So 